Hello again. In this module, we'll consider example of strip mining optimization technique of histogram calculation. Source code for this lab can be found in the regular location, labs, chapter 4, lab 4.7, optimize shared mutexes. The structure of this code is similar to other exercises that we have gone through. We are benchmarking the function histogram, which is located in worker.cc. In a separate file, main.cc, we have data initialization, time measurement, and verification of the results. We will not discuss main.cc in detail and focus only on the performance critical code in worker.cc. Now let's take a look at worker.cc with the body of the histogram calculation function. In step 0, we have an optimized version of the histogram calculation. Compiler will not be able to vectorize this a single for loop in our code, and slow division operation is used in every iteration of this loop. Now let's try to compile the code and run it on the whole CPU and Intel Xeon 5 processor. To compile the code, we can just run make. In the make file, we specify Intel C++ compiler and corresponding flags. In this particular case, we're using OpenMP and MKL libraries. And also requesting vectorization report, which will be printed out on the screen. To create native executables for MIC architecture, additional dash MMIC flag is used during the object file compilation and linking process. Automatic vectorization report indeed shows that for loop in line 12 of our source code worker.cc was not vectorized due to vector dependence in line 14, as we explained in our previous lecture. On our host system, we have the following performance, 0.376 billion numbers per second. And on Intel Xeon FICO processor, we have 0.017 billion numbers per second. This is not what we would like. We would like Xeon Phi to compute faster than the CPU. So now with the initial results and time measurements, we are ready to optimize the code. We can start with the strength reduction optimization. Let's use pre-computed reciprocal value of the group width, and now instead of division, we can use quicker multiplication. This optimization trick alone speed up our calculation on the CPU by 67%. Now let's implement strip mining optimization. For loop will be modified, and we will have two nested for loops instead. We need to choose number of iterations in our most inner loop. And as we explained during the lecture, this number should be 16 or multiple of 16, so that 4 byte elements like integers and single precision floating point numbers, aka floats, were fit into 64 byte vector registers. The step will not yet improve the performance since the inner loop still has vector dependence in the second line. However, strip mining prepares the code for the next step. Now we can rewrite the inner loop as two consecutive loops. In the first loop, we will calculate the indexes and in the next, the histogram. Now, instead of calculating only the histogram index J, we can calculate the whole vector of indexes, 16 of them at a time. To carry them over from one loop to the other, we need additional array hist int for 16 integers. And now it's time to put second for loop for non-vectorizable operation. So as we can see from the make command output with enabled vectorization, loop inline 16 index calculations were successfully vectorized. At the same time, the incrementation of counters with vector dependency is still not vectorized, which we expected. Running the code shows us new performance measurements. Thanks to our optimization on the CPU, the code runs faster by a factor of 2.2 and on the coprocessor by a factor of 8.9. We have achieved this speed up thanks to data parallelism in our serial code. However, in order to use the full computing power of both the CPU and the coprocessor, we need to continue optimization. We need to utilize the 60 physical cores of Intel Xeon Phi coprocessor and 8 cores per each socket of Intel Xeon CPU. Only after that we can expect better performance from the coprocessor. 
To give you a quick sneak peek on the results, here's the performance of the thread parallel code. We will discuss multi-threading optimization process in the next module. Thank you very much for your attention.